So in this lecture, let's go ahead and let's style up this item component which we have up over here. So in order to style up this item component, there's a couple of things which we need to do. And the first thing is we need to create divs so as to kind of contain the different elements which we have. So we already have this outermost div which holds our entire component and then we have this inner div over here as well uh, which is the item container. So let's give it a class here. So we will be creating those classes without creating any kind of CSS module as of now. So we will create CSS modules later but right now let's name these divs so that we understand what exactly they contain. So over here I would say the class name of this thing would be styles dot item container as it contains the entire item so this div starts here and it ends here all right so after this we'll also create a container for the image itself so this is the image container so let's take the image grab it from here paste it up over here and let's name this div as let's say styles dot and it's automatically correcting it to style sheet. So make sure that you change it back to styles because we will be importing styles soon. And this is going to be the image container. So image container. All right. So the image container ends here. And after this, we again need to create another div here. And this div is going to be for the name container. So it's going to contain the name as well as the quantity as well. So now I could cut this from here. So let's cut these two things and place it in there. And instead of having H3s for this one, let's also change this thing to div and div for the item name because we don't want to use H3s for them. So let's change them to divs. And once this thing is done, you could save this so that it gets formatted really well. All right. So after this, this div which we have here which is actually after ending this image container, let's name this div as well. So this div is going to be the name container. So styles dot that's going to be name container. And over here, let's go ahead and let's assign a class name itself to these divs. Now you could also do this other way as well, but I thought it would be better to give them their own class names. So here I would say the class name is going to be styles dot name. And after that, for this div, I would say the class name would be styles dot amount so styles dot amount all right so once we have all of these classes done over here let's now go ahead and let's create a css module file for this so i'll go ahead and create a css module called as item dot module dot css and once this is created i could import the styles from here so over here i could say import the styles from dot slash item dot module dot css once the styles are imported let's now define the styling for all these things here so the first thing which we want to define the style for is going to be the item container so the way in which we want to place those items is that uh, we want to place the image on one side and the text on the other side so in order to do that over here i need to make the item container a flex so i would say dot item container would be set to display as flex so as soon as i do that now as you can see the name would be set on the right hand side now let's also add some padding on all the sides for this item container so i would say the padding is going to be 10 pixels from all the sides as you can see now it has some padding let's add margin on the top as let's say 50 pixels so 50 pixels this adds margin so now the items are spaced out really well now let's turn this particular item container into a card so therefore over here i would also add a box shadow to this one as well as 0 4 pixels 6 pixels and then finally rgba value is going to be 0 so this is the typical shadow which we always use with the opacity as 0.1 save this now as you can see this has shadow as well now let's make that particular card as rounded by adding the border radius as 10 pixels all right so as you can see this is what the ingredient card currently looks like now let's style the image container which we have so in order to style the image container which contains the image i would say image container not the item container this should be image container 
and I need to set the width for this one. So let's have a fixed width of 100 pixels. And let's have a fixed height of 100 pixels as well so that the image appears squared. All right. So now the size of each and every image would be the same, or at least the container size would be the same. Now let's also give it a border radius. So I would say border radius is going to be, let's say 10 pixels. So it will kind of round off those images as well if they have any edge. After styling this thing up, let's now go ahead and let's style the image as well. So in order to style the image, I would also add a class name to this one as well. So I would say this would be styles.image. And over here I would say dot image and the kind of styling which we want to add to this image is that I want to set the maximum width of this thing to 100% so that the image does not go out of its container. I would set the height to auto and the reason for setting the height to auto is that it maintains the aspect ratio so that if the image size is a little bit different it never appears stretched. Along with this, I would also add a border radius for this one as 20 pixels. So let's see what happens if we do that. So as you can see, the changes do not appear evident, but there are a couple of changes here for those particular items. So after this, let's now go ahead and let's style the name container which we have, which is this div which contains the name as well as the items. So for the name container, we want to place these two items a little bit to the right so that they are not stuck to these images right here. So in order to style that, I would say dot name container. I would set the margin left for the name container to be 50 pixels. So it's spaced well. So as you can see now, all the names kind of appear on the right of the image. And after the name container, let's style up the actual name and the amount. So after this, I would say, all right, I would say dot name and for the name i would like to set the font size to be a little bit larger so i would say font size i want it to be larger and the font weight which i want for this one is going to be bold and let's do the same thing with the amount as well so in order to display the amount here which is the amount of that ingredient i would set the font weight to bold and i would also set the margin on the top is to 10 pixels. So if I do that, now this is what the name and the amount is going to look like. So once we are done with this, as you can see, we have styled up the ingredients really well. And our card is now completely ready along with the instructions, along with the ingredients and along with their quantities. So let's click on some other recipe right here. And as soon as I click on that, you'll be able to see that the ingredients over here have now changed. We have different ingredients along with different quantities, along with different attributes here. And you also have a different set of instructions as well. So let's do that for some other recipe like this one. So as you can see, we have the details loaded for that particular recipe as well. So that actually completes the basic things about the food recipe application. So let me know if you want to see more features being added to this app or if you want any other application that we should work on. So depending upon your feedback, I would go ahead and work on the next videos for this particular React series. So do let me know in the comments what you would like to see in the future and also if you have liked this particular series then please make sure that you like this video subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down below so that i would be encouraged to produce even more content so that's it for this one and i'll see you guys in the next one thank you